My name's Vanessa Mir with Heirloom Snacks. One of the biggest concerns I hear from couples are they want to look natural and not awkward for their newlywed photos. I have a solution for both brides and grooms. The key to natural posing connects the body, the hands, and the head. I'll be sharing a handful of tricks on what to do and we'll be going over before and after images on our real couple who use these techniques. Then at the end, I will share how to pose a kiss that's not awkward. Let's begin. The first part of posing starts with your body. A photographer uses the body to first establish how the couple will interact. You won't need to memorize these poses, but at least have an understanding. We'll talk about what you need to remember in just a minute. But first, let's talk about the poses. I've narrowed them down. I call them parallel, face-to-face, -face, and portrait. Let's talk about parallel. It's when the couple faces towards or away from the camera, and I use parallel to establish the location of the couple. My favorite way to use parallel is by having the couple hold hands and walk together. Next is face-to-face. -face. This is when brides or grooms face towards each other. The intent with the face is to establish the couple's chemistry and also the landscape. Examples are kissing, looking into each other's eyes, or the classic dip. Last is the portrait. In posing a portrait of a couple, the faces are dominant. The body may be turned towards the camera, one partner can be behind the other, and the eyes are given special attention. I prefer to have my couple's back shoulders angled towards each other and the front shoulders extending out. It gives the sense the couples are inviting the viewer into the joy of their wedding day. The intent of a portrait is to show the subject's lightness and possibly their personality. But it is the last two connections, the hands and the face, that keep the circle of visual flow that creates those natural looking photos. Let's talk about the hands. Your hands and how you use them to interact and connect with your partner's body guides the viewer's eyes. I have a great example of this in our real couple that I'll be showing you in the before and after segment. And one more thing to remember is you use your hands to communicate your thoughts. For example, when your hands are dangling in off places, they aren't engaged with your partner and look out of place. Again, I have an example of this in just a minute. There are three ways to use your hands. They are hands holding hands, hands on the upper body, like the neck, shoulders, and the face, and then hands on the middle of the body, your waist, your arms. Now you have your body and hands connected. It is time to add your head, lips, and eyes. For example, the head will be tilted towards each other or touching the eyes engage with each other and the lips, they're reacting to how you feel. Now that you know how to connect your body, hands and face, let's move on to before and after images of Daphne and Max, who are not professional models, but are in a relationship. To start, we didn't give them a lesson on connection and this was their first time in front of a camera team, so I'm pretty sure I took them out of their comfort zone. As their photographer, I directed them using the poses that you learned. Let's take a look as I discuss how to use your hands and face and stay connected. The first image that we're going to be looking at is our parallel photo. What is working right now is that they are looking natural, but they're also looking awkward. The reason that they're looking awkward is the connection of their bodies are lost. Max's whole attention is on the camera and Daphne's fully connected with Max and it's making it look awkward. His hand isn't connected to his body or to her and it's looking awkward. In the next shot, I wanna talk about your hands. There's this big mystery on hands. Where do you put your hands? Is it in your pocket? It's on your side. To be honest, it's everywhere. And it's just a matter of what looks good. In the picture that you're seeing right now, here is a, an example of his hands at his side. It looks good. It doesn't look dangling. It doesn't look awkward. And then our next photo, same pose. And I just asked him to put it, his hand in his pocket. To be honest, if you don't know what to do with your hands, just put it in your pocket and don't worry about it. Next, I just wanna show you one more example of a parallel pose. His hands in his pocket, connected to his body. Their hands are connected with each other. Daphne's holding her bouquet, so it's holding something. She's still looking connected and their faces are engaged. Our next photo, again, another parallel. 
and let's talk about how they're connected. So Daphne's looking at Max, perfect. No, Max isn't looking at Daphne, but he's, he's feeling her gaze on his face. He's smiling, he's reacting with his lips and the chemistry is, is flowing. And then let's mention his hands. Yes, his hands do look a bit awkward, but it's it's not distracting because it shows the chemistry, it looks natural, and it's working. Let's take a look at our portrait pose. Our first photo is unprepped and they are technically using the rules of connection, but his hands are looking awkward and I prefer my couples facing in towards each other. It's more pleasing to the eye and it shows more, again, of, of a connection. And this is an example of what you can do if you just don't know what to do with your hands. Basically, just don't show them. But their, their heads are tilted towards each other. They're, they're smiling, they're engaged with the camera. And since we can't see their hands, they're not doing anything wrong. But I do know that Daphne's hand is behind um, Max's back. So they look connected because of it. Here's another photo. This time Max is behind Daphne and I just want to show you that hands can look natural and still be posed. And Daphne, you know, beautifully, gently has her hand extended on Max's hand and this, this is a portrait pose. All right, so let's move on to our next set of images and that would be face to face. The first image is before any prepping. They look great, they're laughing with one another, and Max even has his hand on her shoulder. But what is missing is the connection of their hands. The visual chemistry is flowing through their faces, but drains right out through their fingertips. So let's look at the prepped image. So here's a prepped image. So we talked about hands over shoulders. So Daphne's hand is over his, over his shoulder and Max's hand is on her waist. It's a way, think of connecting your hands, connecting the chemistry, and their heads are also connected and tilted, which is, is really nice. Now it's time to divulge my secret to posing a kiss, and it's really quite simple. First and always, tilt your head in the opposite direction of your partner. And then you gotta hold that kiss for at least three seconds, and another thing that I see, don't pucker your lips too much. Let's take a look of an image of a kiss right before they're gonna kiss so you know what I'm talking about. So here's a picture of Daphne and Max again, and Daphne's hand is over Max's shoulder, and I can tell Max's hand is wrapped around Daphne's waist. But their heads are tilted, and they're about to kiss, and it's great. And so let's go to the next picture of Daphne and Max kissing. Hands, heads are tilted in the opposite direction and they're not puckering their lips. I know you're great at snuggling and showing affection with your partner, but on your wedding day, you'll be taken out of your comfort zone and into one that has a camera team. The way you interact with one another is going to change. Plus the paranoia of do I smile, where do I put my hands, and where do I look just jumbles up in your mind. But now you know how to look natural and not awkward by connecting your body, hands, and head for gorgeous wedding photos. I would love to know how you use this video. Let me know in the comments below and I will be bringing you more posing videos that I can't wait to share with you. Thanks for watching. My name's Vanessa Mir with Heirloom Snaps, getting you one step closer to wedding ready.